the aha moment. Any script you have been working on to this point, I want you to go through and think to yourself, what do I already know at the beginning of this scene as the character? And what do I discover right here in real time? Any of those moments can be an aha moment. Any and all of them should be. Because as you're living and breathing and discovering things in front of us, that's how every line is going to come out a separate thought. Just like I did right now as I'm talking to you. I have no idea what I'm going to say next right now because this portion is not scripted at all. Aha! <laughs> that's what I mean. Live and breathe in the moment. Dare to pretend you don't know what's coming next and let it surprise you. Episode 8, Acting A through Z, Finding Those Aha Moments. Aha. What is an aha moment? I like to think of those as light bulb in your head moments. Remember, you know what comes next, but the character doesn't. Really live in the moment of every line and decide what to say next right before our eyes. How magic that will be when we, the audience, get to experience your aha with you. It's much more captivating than just watching an actor say their lines like they have known them by heart forever. When investigating your character's inner life through your dialogue, literally look for a few of those places where your character might find that new thought right then and there. I actually write aha on my script. It's a reminder to slow down, take in the reality, and allow your mind to shift thoughts. Aha moments can also help you understand your character better. As an actor, delivering a convincing performance requires a deep understanding of your character, their motivations, and the story they are a part of. This is one of the many ways you can achieve that deeper understanding. These are moments of insight or realization that can add depth and nuance to a character's inner life and add to our experience as the audience as we get to enjoy you living the role. Notice I didn't say your performance of the role. Live it. Breathe life into it. By looking for those moments where your character's thought process shifts, you as the character can actually train yourself to take those shifts. Don't just barrel through the lines as if you know them by heart. You, the actor, certainly know your lines by heart, but this is the first time your character has ever said these words. For example, let's say an actor is playing the role of a mother who has just lost her child. While reading the script, the actor might have an aha moment where they realize that the character is not just grieving for her child, but also their hopes and dreams that they had for their future. This insight can inform the actor's delivery of their lines, allowing them to convey a deeper sense of loss and despair. Perhaps that thought pops into their head, spurred by picking up a child's favorite toy or article of clothing in the scene. Similarly, an aha moment could come from a discussion with the director or fellow actors about the character's motivations and backstory. By delving deeper into the character's history and understanding their past experiences, an actor can gain a better understanding of why their character behaves the way they do and how to effectively portray them on stage or screen. Incorporating aha moments into a performance can also help an actor create more dynamic relationships with their fellow actors. How? It makes you a better listener because you are reminded to take in what is happening as it happens. In doing so, you'll find the shifts in the, in the scene as they were left for you by the writer. More on punctuation in a future video, but the punctuation is a big clue. Follow the punctuation as written. You will likely find many of those light bulb moments left for you by the author happen at the punctuation. In closing, of course, incorporating aha moments into performance requires careful preparation and practice. However, the effort put into the process can pay off in a more compelling and nuanced portrayal of the character. Don't forget to hit the notifications bell because I'm seriously going to do an entire episode just breaking down what each of the techniques believes. And then you can decide for yourself what works for you. That's what I did. Like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell. Don't forget you can coach with me on Zoom. All that good stuff.